Hello, my equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to share with you a fun idea that I had to take some pool noodles and use them to make some different obstacles that I can use out in my arena with my horses. So these are the pool noodles that I found. The bigger ones I found at Walmart and the smaller, thinner ones I found at the dollar store. I think I like the bigger ones better. I'm going to be using the bigger ones for my project. So I found some wooden dowels and that's what I'm going to do to combine two pool noodles together to make it longer. And then I use some liquid nails, fuse it adhesive on the dowel and on the ends of the pool noodles to really adhere the pool noodles together so that they're going to stick. And then I found some white duct tape, which is going to act like stripes for my noodle rails. And I just secured the two pool noodles together using the duct tape. Now, if you don't have white duct tape, you can use any kind of duct tape you want. I just thought this would be an easier way to give some color to the pool noodle rails or obstacles or whatever you want to call it and it was really easy to do. It didn't take me very much time at all, and I'm gonna have some different and fun tools to use out in my arena with my horses. And I think the duct tape gives a little bit of extra strength to the pool noodles themselves. And when I'm not using them out in the arena with the horses, I am gonna put them inside because I don't think they'd be able to stand up to the elements very well. Another thing that I wanted to do was add some weight to the pool noodles themselves. So I took some play sand and using a piece of cardstock paper to make a funnel, I filled the noodles with the sand. Now if you have a funnel, that's great. I didn't have a funnel, so that was why I used the cardstock paper. It worked really well and I was able to get the sand into the interior of the noodles very easily. And the more sand that you add, the more bendy and flexible these pool noodles are. Really hard to say pool noodle, pool noodle, pool noodle over and over again. And once I was happy with the amount of sand that was in the noodle itself, I just stuffed a plastic bag in the end of it to keep the sand from coming out. And then I used some duct tape to secure the plastic bag into the noodle. And I wanted it to have more of a uniform appearance so I took the white duct tape and I taped the ends to make it look like a striped rail. And like I said, this is a really fun, affordable, and easy project that you can do in an afternoon in order to have something different to use with your horse out in your arena.
And I thought it would also be fun to see if you could actually use a pool noodle to make a jumping rail or a pole. And I think it would be possible if you have some wooden dowels that you can put into the interior of the pool noodles. For this one, I didn't have long enough wooden dowels, but I just figured let's see if this will work, if I can make like a jump rail with a pool noodle. And I really think you can. They're not gonna be as substantial as a jump rail, but if you're looking for an easy alternative to finding some jump rails, this might be a very doable thing that you could do in an afternoon for yourself. And then you would have some jump rails or at least some poles on the ground that you could walk over with your horse. That's what's so fun about pool noodles. There's so many things you can do with them. So these are my pool noodle arena tools or arena equipment, whatever you want to call it. And I just wanted to show you just some different things that you can do with these pool noodles if you decide to make them. You can set them up on some standards. You can put them on the ground. So many different things that you can do. And it'll keep things fun and interesting, not only for you, but also for your horse. You can hang the pool noodles on the sides of your jump standards. I think you can see Ethan in the background. He's kind of checking out what I'm doing. He's like, hey, what is that? So this is going to be really fun to play with and see what kind of things I can come up with for both of my horses out in the arena to keep our riding interesting. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY and horse related videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.